Okay, going back to differential equations, we're looking for a general equation uh, of this uh, derivative function wh when initial condition y of pi equals zero. So here's our initial condition and here is our derivative uh, function. So all we have to do is separate the variables first. So we get 4y dy equals 8x cubed minus 2x squared plus sine of x dx. And if we integrate both sides, uh, we will get 4 over 2y squared equals, and it's just a power rule, 8 over 4x to the fourth minus 2 over 3x to the third plus, well, negative cosine of x. So this will become a negative sign eventually. And we add our constant. So let's rewrite this a little bit. 2x to the fourth minus 2 thirds x cubed minus cosine of x plus c, 2y squared. So then we have to look at the initial condition to find our c value. Well, let's just go ahead and plug it in. Well, 2 times 0 squared equals 2 times pi to the fourth minus 2 thirds pi squared minus cosine of pi. And of course, this just equals 0, so 0. Okay, so if we, uh, pardon me, forgot the plus c term. That was the whole point of the setup. So if we move everything over there, c equals uh, 2 thirds pi squared minus 2 pi to the fourth plus cosine of pi. Well, cosine of pi is simply just um, <clears throat> negative 1. So negative 1 right here. All right, so we get 2 thirds pi squared minus 2 pi to the fourth minus 1. And if we solve for this, we'll get something like negative 175.15. And our general equation will become, uh, bringing this down here, 2y squared equals 2x to the fourth minus 2 thirds x squared minus cosine of x minus 175.15. And there is our general equation. Let's recap the steps. Uh, first, we separated the variables and took the integral, which is taking the integral here. And second, we applied the initial condition to find uh, the constant c. And then finally, we just plugged the c back in and wrote down the general uh, equation of the differential equation. Uh, so very, very uh, simple but short uh, lesson, short topic about differential equations. Of course, diff eq gets very, very deep. But for the AP test, as far as we're concerned, we're only worrying about finding the general equation uh, of a function and also using Euler's method. So thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you next time.